One of the key aspects of Fujitsu is how do we enable technology to the benefit of society? And that's what that's, this project is looking at. It's looking at the use of sensors to enable elderly people to maintain independent living and by doing that improving their overall quality of life. It's a key enabler for, Fuji for Fujitsu to be able to look at sensor-based technology in a clinical environment, in a technology environment, to enable us to see how is it that we deliver these technologies to give people better lives. You're here at the Netwell Centre in the PJ Carroll building at Dundalk Institute of Technology. Uh, Netwell Centre was formed in 2006 to explore where there are innovative ways to organise services and to use technologies that could help support older people to be more engaged in society um, and, and to really help them to age in place. Uh, and at, well, at the back end, that we had a better alternative to things like nursing homes and long-term care when we, when, when we, got, when we got older. There's huge value in being able to create virtual reality models where you can, um, you can simulate what an environment might look like and as a result of that test um, how it works, test people's reactions and feedback into it. Um, but it's a very easy model to change and adapt and, and respond to that. So um, the idea of modeling and simulation as a, as a resource in an innovation pathway was something that we thought was going to be very, very important. So we've been very lucky to have a, a computer-aided virtual reality environment here at the cave. Um, and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to create um, virtual experiences that are very, very close. We're only scratching the surface in relation to the kinds of things we can do, but, but essentially it's an opportunity to accelerate trial and error at low cost in a, in a kind of a computer world. We use the cave, the virtual environment here, to understand how the person lives within the house, how we meet those needs, and, and then try to generate products or, or new types of technologies based on that. As an example, um, perhaps if we meet the person and they said that they might have a need and need some help getting in and out of the bed here, uh, what the system can do is we can come in as, des as designers and say, well, perhaps maybe we'll make a new technology. What would that look like? Does that meet the need of the user? Once we have that in kind of a virtual environment, we can then bring in the older adults themselves and also maybe occupational therapists or, or other types of uh, clinicians and see is that an appropriate type of technology to use. And then after we look at, the, look at this virtually then, we can begin to see, well, how can we, let's say, have a first rapid prototyped physical uh, device that we could use and then once we have it at, as a, at a physical stage then we can start to move it out into um, kind of first stage user and end, end user trials and then move it along to maybe community deployments at a later stage.